Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is again Joshua Rodriguez and I'm back to uploading video tutorials after a very very long rest. Alright, so um, I hope you are still there, my dearest subscribers and my dearest watchers. So I will continue to upload uh, new video tutorials from now on and I hope you still subscribe and like my videos and also share para naman um, ma-share natin sa iba itong knowledge na natututo na natin dito sa channel ko. And so, um, please subscribe and hit the notification bell para continue tayo no, sa uh, pagiging updated kapag ka ako ay nag-upload ng new video tutorial. So, again, I'm back to helping you with your mathematics problem, especially in algebra. Okay, so without further ado, let's start the discussion. So, if you hear noises in the background, so pasensya na. We cannot control the noises in the environment. No? So anyway, uh, let's start the discussion on performing basic operations on polynomials. So sa mga nakaraang video tutorial ko, I uploaded one video na diniscuss yung uh, topic about performing basic operations on monomials. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, I suggest panuorin nyo muna yon para maintindihan nyo yung topic natin ngayon. So just, I'll put the link on my uh, or on the description of uh, this video so first we will be talking about uh, the two basic operations which is addition and subtraction so ito muna yung unahin natin because there is lightness in the process of solving polynomials uh, when the operation is addition or subtraction so, when, perform, when uh, solving polynomials with the operation addition and subtraction, um, may tatlong step lang na dapat kayong tandaan. So, the first step, the first step is to ensure na yung uh, polynomials nyo ay naka-arrange sa standard form. Ano yung standard form? Ang sinasabing standard form natin sa polynomials. Kailangan yung arrangement ng terms natin sa polynomials from left to right Yung nauuna dapat ay ang term na may pinakamataas ang degree ng polynomial. So, in, the, the, in our example here, we have 4x squared minus 2x plus 3. Say, for instance, ito yung tinitingnan natin, no? So, titingnan mo ngayon yung term na may pinakamataas na degree ang exponent. So, sa example natin, we have 4x squared. Siya yung may pinakamataas na degree ang exponent. So, therefore, siya dapat yung nauuna sa arrangement ng terms natin dito sa polynomial na to. So, since siya yung nauna, ibig sabihin, yung uh, polynomial natin ay naka-standard form na. So, for instance, merong 4x cube pa ano. For instance, may 4x cube pa dito. Kailangan yung 4x cube, siya yung nauna sa arrangement kasi siya yung may pinaka-highest degree of exponent. So, yon. Pangalawa ay pwede mong gamitin yung distributive property. So, by the way, uh, yung ituturo ko sa inyong way to solve this kind of problem ay yung horizontal way. Kasi feeling ko mas madali to kaysa doon sa vertical eh. Mas nakalilito kapag ka vertical. Kasi pag horizontal way yung yung uh, paraan mo ng pag-add, pag pag-subtract ng uh, polynomials, mapapadali ka talaga because we, we will be using the third step which is uh, you will combine the uh, like terms. So again, balikan natin yung second step, yung distributive property. Ano yung i-distribute natin? So in our example here, we have 4x squared. Our task is to add 4x squared minus 2x plus 3 and x squared plus 5x minus 10. Ano yung i-distribute natin using the distributive property? Yung operation natin, yung addition. You will just multiply this to each term of this polynomial. Ano? So... Meaning, multiply mo positive, uh, yeah, positive, ang positive sign, 2x squared, 5x, and negative 10. So, let's solve this problem. Unang gagawin mo is to copy the polynomial on the left. We have 4x squared minus 2x plus 3. 
Ngayon, gamitin, muna, gamitin na natin yung distributive property. By the way, ano, magpuproceed na tayo sa second step ano, kasi naka-standard form na naman ito. Eh. So, let's use the distributive property in mathematics. So, we have positive. Distribute natin sa positive x squared. Positive times positive, that is always positive. So, we have positive x squared. Positive times positive 5x, that would be five, positive 5x. Positive times negative, that is always negative. So, uh, copy the term 10. Now, proceed tayo sa third step, combining like terms. Ngayon, yung, yung uh, sinasabi nating like terms ay yung uh, term na, may, na mayroong the same variables and the same exponent. To combine like terms, you will just add ano, these terms. So, when adding uh, monomial, kung natatandaan nyo doon sa previous video natin, you will just going to add the coefficients of the terms. So, kailangan, tatandaan tatanda, natin, yung terms na ina-add natin ay dapat pareho. Pareho ang variable at pareho ang exponent. Otherwise, kung hindi siya pareho, ay di natin pwedeng makombine. Kasi hindi nga sila like terms. So, yan. So, in this in our case, we have 4x squared and x squared. So, uh, may coefficient tayo na 4 and 1. We are just going to add those coefficients. So, we will get 4x squared plus x squared, that is 5x squared. Next, hanap ulit tayo ng uh, like terms. So, in our example, we have here negative 2x and 5x, the same variable. Okay, since it is negative and positive, ano, magkaiba yung sign ng term natin, uh, gamitin mo yung sign ng mas malaking term. In our case, uh, positive 5x is greater than negative 2x, so we will just copy the sign positive. Okay, so proceed to subtraction na kasi we have negative here. Subtract uh, 2x to 5x, so we will get positive 3x. Next, solve mo yung uh, last term, which is 3 and negative 10. That would be equal to negative 7. And that will be our final answer. Okay, so let's proceed to uh, subtraction. So when the when the operation is subtraction. So suppose we have here the problem sec six x squared. I'm sorry, plus three y minus fifteen, and then we will subtract it to two x squared minus 5y minus 8 ayan, so again gagamitin natin yung 3 steps na ginamit natin doon sa uh, addition una see if the polynomials are in standard form so in our case, naka standard form naman siya. then we will use the distributive property and then combining like terms so the first step done, next Second step tayo, pero copy muna natin yung first set of polynomial. We have 6x squared plus 3y minus 15. Ngayon, gamitin na natin yung distributive property. So, we have here negative. Distribute natin yung negative doon sa uh, subtracting polynomials. We have negative times 2x squared. That would be negative 2x squared. Negative times negative, that is positive. And copy, 5y. Negative times negative, again, that is positive. And copy, 8. Now, let's proceed to combining like terms. Look for the terms that are alike. So, in our case, we have here 6x squared and 2x squared. Ano yung gagawin let natin? Let's just add or subtract the terms. So, since we have a negative 2x squared, we will subtract negative 2, negative 2x squared to 6x six, six, six squared. So, 6x squared minus 2x squared, that is 4x squared. Ano yung ginawa natin? We just subtracted the coefficient of the terms and then we copy the sign of the greater term. In our example, the greater term is the 6x squared. Alright, let's proceed to uh, combining the second term or the, the second like term. So, we have 
the variable y. So we have 3y and 5y. So we, since we have both positive, just copy the sign positive and proceed to addition. You just, you're just going to add the coefficient of the terms. 3 plus 5, yan i equal to 8. And then, copy the variable y. Sunod naman ay ang negative 15 at positive 8. Ano yung gagawin natin? Let us just uh, subtract 8 to 15. And copy, the, uh, and copy the negative sign of 15 since it is the greater term between these two. Okay. So, 15 minus 8, that is just equal to 7. Ayan. So, again, you, ito na yung final answer natin. So, again, um, you just have to remember the three steps on performing uh, uh, of the basic operation, which is addition and subtraction to polynomials. So, una ay to see if the arrangement of the polynomials or if the polynomials are in standard form kapag ka hindi siya naka standard form your task is to write it in standard form pangalawang step natin ay distributive property which we which in which um we will just going to distribute the negative sign to the subtracting polynomials and the last step is to combine the like terms and after that, you will get the answer. So, I hope you have learned something from this video. And please do subscribe and like this video. And also, just click the uh, bell button so you will be updated every time I upload new video tutorial. Thank you.